What is going on everyone? A very quick video for you all today. I want to quickly talk you through a card show that I'll be attending in Macau in the next week or so. I say the next week or so because I'm not quite sure when you're going to see this video, but it's something I'm super excited about because it is the Asia Sports Collectors Convention. It's the first one ever being run and it's literally meant to be as big as the national. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about this is because I will be attending, like I said, I'm going over there for a wedding and this just so happened to line up, which is fantastic. The reason why I'm talking about it with you all is because, you know, like I said, it's meant to be as big as a national and, you know, this show has the ability to sort of elevate the hobby to new heights, right? If it, if it is in fact that big and having a show like this with the businesses that are going to attend, I think is really good for the sports card hobby long term because we need more of this kind of stuff happening. Now, this is their Instagram page, as you can see over here, Asia Sports Collectors Convention. It runs from December 8th until December 10th. And there's a lot of businesses and a lot of people that are quite prominent within this hobby attending. Now, if you look at some of the businesses, PSA will be there, CGC, Panini, Tops, Upper Deck, Beckett. Anyone who's anyone from a business standpoint is going to be there, which is really good for them to show face and have a big presence. When you look at the floor plan, it's quite big. This is going to be out at the Venetian in Macau. You can see here there's a heck of a lot of tables and it's something that is you know, super exciting. Now, some of you guys will say, well, why is this exciting? Why should I care? I'm based in the States. Why do I care? The reason why you should care is because if we can have more shows like this that rival the national in terms of size, like nothing will ever truly be as big as a national, but if it can rival the national and, and have people attending and generate that interest, that's going to be really good for the hobby long term. We want more people getting excited about cards and we need more shows like this in order for that to happen. You know, when people are talking about, you know, other sports like soccer and other international sports or even growing the US markets, right? You need people to be getting excited and trading cards and going to shows everywhere outside of America. You know, when you look at the American card show market, there's things happening, you know, all the time. There's shows literally happening every single weekend. That doesn't really happen, you know, everywhere else in the world. And stuff like this is the first step in making sure that that can happen. And if we can get more people excited about cards, it's only going to be good for the hobby long term. And I'm also really excited to sort of see what cards have, what they have over there, because if you know some of these guys on social media and you follow some of these accounts and you sort of see what's happening there, you know that the guy is based in Asia and, you know, Hong Kong, Macau specifically, but then the rest of Asia, um, they have some top dog cards for basketball and soccer and almost every other sport, right? A lot of high-end cards are over there. So I'm really keen to sort of see what these guys have to show off and what is actually available to buy and sell. Now, I can't recall... If I mentioned, but I will be doing a vlog on day one and day three. I can't attend day two because the wedding that I mentioned I'm attending clashes on that day, but I'm going to try and do my best to go to show you guys some of these cards on show and show you what you know a show outside of America actually looks like. I'm, I'm sort of really excited because, like I said, the cards that these guys you know have on hand when you watch their Instagram accounts are literally unreal, and you can sort of see I've also got some people coming from the States as well. You've got uh, She Collects Cards, Lameem James, Ship My Cards is going to be there, which is freaking awesome, and a bunch of many, many others. I'm sort of excited to see what I can actually find. Naz Nubs, who's a big Jordan collector. They've got athletes attending too, so Christian Vieri. Um, I think I've mentioned before, my brother is actually named after this guy. He's named in the top 100 FIFA players of all time, Italy legend. But to make things even more exciting, my brother is not just named after him. He grew up in the same suburb as me, suburb as me in southwest Sydney. We went to the same school. It's just super exciting because I can't wait to sort of meet him and hopefully get something signed. You got Luis Figo attending, who is another Portugal and Real Madrid legend. eBay's going to be there. CGC cards, like I said, it's going to be, you know, super freaking exciting. And I'm hoping that this kind of show can help, you know, elevate the hobby a little bit. So when it comes to a card show vlog perspective, let me know what you guys want to see. I'll try and do my best. I, I Yes, I'm turning into one of these vlogger losers, but it's purely for historical purposes. I want to try and get is captured on camera because some of this stuff will literally have never been seen before and you know you might see something in the video that might trigger you to reach out to someone to try and chase that grail card of yours um, this is basically their five-day schedule yes it only runs for two days but day one and day five i think are just you know closing and opening related things but it's something that i'm super excited about so you know like i said let me know what you want to see down in the comments below but i'm i'm just really sort of excited i've said that a few times now to see what it has to bring because that floor plan looked very damn big. And if it is that big and there are that many cards there, I literally cannot wait to try and find stuff for my PC. You guys know I'm a big soccer collector. A lot of one of ones go that way. A lot of flawless soccer goes to China and never comes back. So if I have the ability to find some of that stuff on my PC, 
I'm going to be jumping at the bit to try and get it. Um, also, let me know what kind of content you want to see. I'll try and film as many tables as possible. Because like I said, the things that we're going to see there are probably things that have not seen the light of day for many, many years. So let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know what other content you want to try and see while I'm over there or you want me to try and put out there for you guys. But let's see what happens. Let's see what is actually available to buy. There's been some rumors that there's not going to be many people selling, but we'll see about that when I actually get there. But like I said, even though you're based in the States, even though this show probably has nothing to do with you, you don't really give a shit. At the end of the day, you should care because shows like this, if they can be successful and we can get these businesses coming out and maybe doing on-site grading and getting that buzz generated for the hobby is only going to be good for the sports card and trading card hobby long term. You know, there are collectors all over the world that are just as passionate as you guys in the United States. This show is going to be showcasing that. And I think if we can get the businesses to sort of realize that and buy into it, this hobby is going to literally grow to new heights because yes, you have people already collecting from all over the world, but if we can generate that interest and get a bit more of the wider community bought in or make it easier for collectors in these parts of the world to submit cards, to grade cards, to sell cards, that's only going to be positive for every single one of you and you shouldn't be hating on it at all. It should be a benefit for you. Yes, there are more collectors out there. They're going to be maybe buying the cards that you want, but if they can be passionate, if we can get them buying in, and being passionate and getting access to these companies and all that sort of stuff, like I just explained, these manufacturers, these graders are going to be generating more value because they now have more customers to tap into. So that's my mini rant on the whole situation. You should be excited. I'm bloody damn excited. I cannot wait to go. I'm very, very excited, as I've said many, many times now. So, you know, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.